Good morning, it's time to make plans for another month of grocery shopping. I'll give you a quick peek outside here. It is, of course, Sam's gotta start dancing right away. Um, it's snowing. Things got a little bit wonky here with the snowstorm. We were supposed to get six to 10 inches, then they downplayed it to four to seven for our area. Then we ended up only getting about three, I think, then it continued snowing, stopped snowing, and now here it is Thursday and it's snowing again. Actually, some quite, some big, big flakes coming down and it's fluffy and it is actually accumulating quite a bit. So anyway, uh, Sam and Peter are outside shoveling right now. Joseph is back playing in his room um, with a train set. Maria is right here on the kitchen counter. What are you doing up there? I don't know, watching the boys. Watching the boys, okay. Uh, Amber actually is still in bed. It's 8.22, which I means... I tried waking her up. You did. It means that she does need to get up, doesn't she? Because she yeah, has to start I... school in just a few minutes. So that's kind of what's going on here today. You notice that... Uh, let's see, I didn't tell you what Warren was doing. He is actually at Cranberry School right now. That is a two-day event where they go and learn all kinds of things about new... Um, products and things like that that are available to be used um, in cranberry farming. So he's doing that. This is the second day for him. And then I didn't mention Emily and that is because so many things have been happening, or happening around here lately. Actually on Monday, Emily moved out. So let's backtrack a little bit. Amber and I were in DC from Wednesday until Sunday. We got back home, started, Emily had already had quite a bit of stuff packed up, but kind of helped her get things packed up and everything. And then we moved her to her apartment on Monday. So here we are. This is like the third full day of only having seven people in the house. And it's weird. Last night we didn't have to run the dishwasher after supper because it wasn't quite full. And now this morning, I continued to load it with breakfast dishes. It's still not full. Um, yeah, it's just really, really weird. I mean, it's good. I, I'm, it's good for the older kids to be, you know, moving on, doing, you know, doing their own thing, but it is weird here. So I'm gonna be planning for grocery shopping for a big once a month grocery shopping. I have to plan out kind of the gist of our menus for the month. Of This is gonna be for the month of February, basically. And then I have to kind of plan the grocery list as well. So let me just take you to the pantry because I'm gonna start by looking in the pantry. This is not gonna be very well organized because I just didn't organize it for you guys. You're just seeing it as is. Now, the month of January was kind of weird because we had a four day trip to a cabin up north ice fishing. Then Amber and I were gone for those five days. We had, with Emily moving, we ended up getting pizza for lunch out that day or you know, picking up pizza because that's pretty cool to be able to pick up pizza five minutes from your house. Um, so it just was different. So there is actually a lot of things in the pantry here that I didn't use from the uh, from my last grocery haul, which I had told you I was going to be using. Um, but tonight we're actually going to make, I'm only going to have to make two of these boxes of scalloped potatoes, I believe. And I had thrown some lunch meat ham into the freezer before we went to DC. And so I have that out thawing and we're going to do that for tonight's supper. And then I also have a head of cauliflower. I'm going to do that. And then I think we might have some kind of fruit, either canned applesauce or let's see. Yeah. Cherry pie filling. That's not really going to cut it, is it? Okay. So that'll probably be for supper. So there are a few things that we'll eat up because I'm not going to be grocery shopping until Saturday. So we have Thursday and Friday and then I'll grocery shop Saturday. However, my boys are all going to be gone. Um, they are going to be heading up to the cabin again, to the rental cabin, uh, doing some ice fishing for the weekend. So we're going to be very, very light. Only three of us here at home. We're probably not going to be eating a whole lot. But here goes. And then, so I'm just taking a quick inventory. I have some barley. I still have two boxes of macaroni and cheese, which we'll probably make for lunch today. Lots and lots of tea. That is really Amber's department up there. Um, boy, this is some leftover popcorn for Christmas. From Christmas, I'll probably put this out in for the kids today to snack on. We have a few bits of chips. 
just a couple bits of chips. Again, that'll probably just be snacked on today, just trying to kind of use it up and get rid of it. So we're going to take a little detour here, and I'm going to talk about Dollar Tree. So I know I've talked to you guys about Dollar Tree and how the Dollar Tree in my town is basically a complete dump. It's dirty, it's messy, the shelves are never full, but that has, is actually changing. I stopped in there the other day to pick up some paper plates and things for at Emily's apartment, and they redid the floors. They had put in a whole new floor, so I'm thinking the reason they had had nothing was because they were going to have to be moving all the shelving, and the shelves were actually quite full. I was really impressed. But anyway, they started this new thing where when you first walk in the door, and in ours anyways, you turn to the right and there's a shelf and they have all this stuff that's discounted. So from a dollar, it's actually less than a dollar. And they had a whole bunch of these animal crackers. They had the chocolate animal crackers and then they also had those like little frosted graham cracker animal crackers. And so I swiped all of them. The dates were not until about the second week of February and I knew that at 50 cents a bag, I could not go wrong. We So we still have a couple of those left. I have cherry pie filling. That I could actually turn into a good breakfast um, with some uh, crescent rolls and make some wraps, some little cream cheese and cherry danishes. I have some pumpkin back here and I do have pumpkin, or sorry, I do have pie crusts that I made up in the freezer. Uh, okay, let's try to keep this quick. A bunch of veggies. This goes very well in either chicken pot pie or in tater tot casserole. I have a bunch of cream soups. Uh, we have a few, let's see, what do we have here? Chili beans. I have some hot dogs right now, and so throwing the hot dogs and a can of, can you guys see that? And throwing a can of chili into the crock pot uh, makes for a great lunch uh, having chili dogs. And then we just top it with some cheese and diced onions. That is delicious. It's a good low-carb meal also. You know, I don't put it on a bun, just serve it up, maybe even on some lettuce if I want. Let's see, a couple cans here of some beans, some tomatoes products. Boy, I still have this enchilada sauce. I keep saying that I'm going to make beef aladas and do a video on that because it's such a yummy, quick meal and I just haven't done it. A bunch of diced, whoops, it's getting dark back in there, sorry. A bunch of diced tomatoes. Let's see, we've got some hot chocolate, which I you, bet... You, you have <laughs> we have hot chocolate, yes. I bet Sam and Peter are going to want that when they come in. We have, let's see, we've got some 100% peanut, some creamy peanut butter. Let's stack that. What do we have here? Some dry roasted nuts. This is almost out. So as I'm taking this pantry, um, you know, this look through my pantry, I'm also noting things that I'm almost out of. So I'm going to have to write this down on my list. I can't really do it here holding the camera. I have two half boxes. Not even, boy, that's got like a tablespoon. And this is about a third of a box of instant mashed potatoes. We can make those over the next couple of days, use those up. A few pitiful cashews left. Lots and lots of marshmallows. I don't really know how that happened. I still have this Velveeta cheese waiting to be turned into some kind of crock pot, um, some kind of crock pot dip. I was thinking hamburger, salsa, and Velveeta. That makes a really good dip. And that would be a great uh, Sunday afternoon um, kind of a snacky type lunch with some chips. Let's see, some tortillas. See, that would be the beginnings right there of my beef beefaladas. I, I still have a bag of dry breadcrumbs. This is actually all the way back from Thanksgiving. I only made, made one uh, batch of stuffing, and so that would be a great, you know, I definitely should use that up this month. Um, let's see, we have a whole box of snack crackers and one sleeve. Here's some more nuts, and we'll put those up there. Not very many. We've got crackers. Not a lot of crackers there, and just about empty on the graham crackers. I have one full box of brown rice here. I think it's a full box, yes. And Maria, you're gonna have to move back because your head's in the way, thank you. Uh, and then this bin is getting pretty empty. This has a little bit of rice. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Ah! Okay, so what's back there? Oh my goodness, I've got two boxes of dirty rice back here. This makes a great lunch. Uh, you just fry up a couple pounds of either hamburger, or uh, in our case, I usually do this with venison burger, dice up an onion, throw it in there, mix that up, and that makes a yummy quick lunch. Yeah, I had bought, I think, nine or ten boxes of cereal this last month. This one is almost empty. Cornflakes, oh, that's almost empty. 
that one's almost empty. This is a full box, and this one is quite full, but not brand new. So I'll just reorganize it like that, make sure those get used up here. Ooh, chow mein noodles. Okay, this bag of chow mein noodles, I should definitely, this month then, I should make mock chop suey again, get those used up, because those do not keep very well. They have a short shelf life. Um, then just some extra spices. It looks like I'm pretty good. I have a couple cinnamons, another baking soda. So now that I showed you everything that's in the pantry, I'm gonna just take a minute and jot down some of the things that I mentioned, uh, some of the meals that I can make this month to use up what's in the pantry. All right, so I'm gonna take a little inventory of the freezer here. This is just one of our freezers. I have a little bit of the shrimp left, and I have a tiny bit of these fish, uh, breaded fish sticks. Is that what that is? Is that what that says, breaded fish sticks? Yes, left. Warren had wanted those when I was in, when Amber and I were in DC, so I think we could probably put both of those together. Wow, that's a lot. Okay. Amber just told me that a serving of kiwi says it's actually two whole kiwis, which sounds like a lot to us. I still have these peas left, even though I did put peas in something this month. I still have peas left. The gyros we did not eat last month, and I'm still holding on to those hot sausages. So I really, really have to make some kind of uh, spaghetti type of a meal. And I think putting those hot sausages either in the sauce or on top of the sauce would be great. What is this? Somebody brought in. Okay, someone brought in some sort of chunk of ice. Okay, I have one, two, three, four, five um, pie crusts. So that's going to work out really well this month. For to use up the vegetables I did put down that I would do chicken pot pie and then I'll also do some pumpkin pie that'll use up that pumpkin and a pie crust. I found the frozen vegetables. I also still have five loaves of bread left from last month. That's crazy. I'm not really sure if we bought some extra at some point or what happened there. Maybe it's just because we uh, were kind of gone here and there through the month. But now that I've taken a really good inventory, now what I'm going to do is just kind of sit down and come up with a few different meals Mine. on my own. And then I always ask the kids if they have any ideas for meals. And it can be a lunch or a supper. Right, so Amber, I need you to give me a couple meals. Some meals. Um, oh, I know. You just mentioned that chicken teriyaki the other day. Remember the chicken and broccoli teriyaki? That'd be good. Is yeah. that what it's called? Yeah, chicken teriyaki and with rice and uh, broccoli. Um, chicken teriyaki with rice and broccoli. What else? It can be lunches. It can be suppers. Whatever. Let's do. Do What kind of shrimp? Could we maybe make like, I don't know, like shrimp tacos, but not in a taco? Like you, we use kind of like the same shrimp and everything, and we maybe like, we almost make it like a big skillet dish that you like scoop it out and eat it. Well, all it is is the shrimp. And the coleslaw, I wouldn't want to put the coleslaw in the skillet. Okay, well then maybe just like serve it on top of coleslaw. I guess might as well then have the tacos with it. So just do shrimp tacos and some people can choose not to put it inside the taco? Sure. Shrimp tacos no shell? <laughs> shrimp tacos no shell. Oh, those Southwest burrito bowls that we made. Oh boy. Remember that? We had chicken and tomatoes and black beans and cheese and all okay. that stuff. And we made it in a bowl, but then some people, we have the option that you can eat it with chips too. Okay. And if we get the chips, could we get those blue ones? <laughs> with blue chips. Yeah, they're like that. Corn. I know what yeah. they are, blue corn chips. Yeah. Look at this. We've got four <laughs> kiwi, which are green, and then a glass of greens. <laughs> You're a yep. nut. Yep. <laughs> How do those greens taste? I'm trying to get. Well, they taste fine. 
they're actually not that bad. You know, they could be a lot worse. Okay. All right. So back at this. So that's basically what I do. I'm just going to go around. I'm going to ask everybody else some ideas for meals. So I guess this could probably be fun. Should we do this together? All right, Maria, can you tell me a meal that you'd like to eat this month? Pizza. Pizza. Okay, anything with the pizza? I just need a fruit. Any kind of fruit or a salad or something? For what? I'm talking to Maria right now, Peter. Um, can I pick something else? Sure. Noodles. Pizza and noodles? Like... You mean separate, so you want pizza as one meal and then noodles as another meal? Yeah. Okay, what kind of noodles? Buttered noodles? Yeah. Okay, so pizza and buttered noodles. How about oh. you, Joe? What would you like? Don't tell me about mm. your CD right now. Tell me a meal that you'd like to eat. Well, um, burger. But I knew you were going to say burgers. So, so far we have burgers and pizza and noodles, buttered noodles. All right. <laughs> How's that for health? Wow. Burgers. You better be some whole wheat noodles. <laughs> That's going to get me a really good start here for the month. I do have to ask Sam and Peter, but they're out shoveling right now. So just a second here. And Joseph. You need to ask Dad. He's going to say hug and kiss soup and chili. <laughs> I already have hug and kiss soup on the yeah. list. But you're right. I should put chili on yeah. too. Right. Joseph, you need to turn the TV off right now. No TV till three. Turn it off. Excuse me. No TV till three. All right, you guys are going to hear Joe crying now because I turned the TV off. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through each of these meal ideas and I'm going to add to my grocery list uh, all the ingredients that I'm, that I'm going to need for that. So as I go through the month, I do write things down that I run out of or that I know I'm getting low on. So I'm just going to keep adding to this list everything that I'm going to need for all those um, for all those meals. And that's basically how I do it. All right, thanks, Peter, for... Hey, Peter, come back here. What? <laughs> uh, thanks for shoveling. <laughs> and then I'm making up my grocery menu, or I'm making up my uh, monthly menu. So what meals would you like? Can you give me a couple meals? Pizza. Well, Maria already said pizza, so that's already on our list. Can you give me something new? Hot dogs. Hot dogs. Okay. Do you want them like chili dogs or just plain hot dogs? Plain hot dogs. Plain hot dogs. Okay. I'll write that on the list. And what else would you like? Oh. One more meal. Uh, just wait, Joe. Uh, cottage cheese. You want cottage cheese with the hot dogs? Okay. But can you give me a whole other meal? Like, we'll put hot dogs on, but now I need something else. Strawberries? Okay, we can add strawberries to the list. All right, that sounds good. I'm making up my grocery list. What kind of men, uh, what kind of meals would you like? Oh, well, you got the camera. Could there. you give me a couple? Burgers. We already have burgers on the list. That, that was, was from Joe. What? Tacos. Okay, so tacos. Peter, I gotta remember how, how, to write down for Peter hot dogs and for how you tacos. Many do you need? Sure, another one would be good. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I green bean casserole. With you want green bean casserole? Okay, I'll put that with uh, like venison steak. How yeah. about that? Okay, so the list is all done. I have, if I count these up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So with 18 meals for the month, um, that is actually going to go pretty far because like I always say, it seems like something comes up where we end up uh, grabbing something out to eat or we end up over at some someone else's house, or I make a whole bunch of something and we eat on it for uh, the next two meals. And then what I do do though is 
this is it. I, I, I'm done planning for the month of February and what'll happen is at the end of this list, if there's more month left and all these meals are done, I'll just go back and grab from those meals again uh, because oftentimes, like if it's something that maybe used rice or used a special spice or something like that, I still have some of those ingredients and then I just have to pick up kind of the extras. So what I don't want to do is waste time doing this again in the middle of the month. I'll just repeat meals as needed and that is how I menu plan. Here is my grocery list. I have everything on here for all of the uh, meal ideas that I came up with and that the kids gave me. I do not typically add in like breakfast things, cereal, unless I need a particular cereal for making some kind of dessert or something. Whoops, we'll ignore that so it doesn't keep beeping. And you know, there are things that I know that I get at the grocery store. For example, I don't put graham crackers on this list because I just know that I'm always gonna pick up three boxes. I'm not gonna put breakfast sausages on the list because when I'm walking through the aisle of Aldi's, I just know that I'm gonna pick up three or four boxes of breakfast sausage. So that's how I plan my grocery shopping trip for an entire month at a time. I had been asked by a number of you how I do that. I hope that this was helpful to you guys. If you have more questions or if maybe I didn't explain something as thoroughly as you'd like definitely leave a comment below and I'll get back to that maybe in my next Q&A or maybe I'll make a more detailed video next time uh, when it comes time to plan up for the month of March so I'll see you guys next time have a great day bye bye